Hey there, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Synthetic Dawn in our Cooperate or Die series, episode 50 and the final episode of Cooperate or Die. We have pretty much, well, we've won the game, definitely. We won a domination victory 10 episodes ago, but uh, we also have beaten the Contingency and we've beaten the Fallen Empires that were irritating me so much, which, as I mentioned in previous recorded episodes, was kind of refreshing because that was a great source of frustration for me. On that note, I want to say that uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun this episode. I want to have a last-minute war with the Mawir just because I can uh, go out on a bang. But we are ending it at 50. And not only are we ending it at 50, but if things don't go, like, according to plan, like, I'm literally just going to freewheel it for 45, 50 minutes or so-ish. You know, nice long finale episode, as usual. And then I'm going to be done with the series. I am done with this series. I just want to give it a nice round finale. I've accomplished my goals, and I wanted to make sure we put a cap on the series. But I'm not going to get bent out of shape, especially given what happened 10 episodes ago, as I described. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get bent out of shape, you know, if, if things, you know, if, if somehow the Mawir rally and uh, cause some, you know, galactic you know, war by my declaring war on them. You know, I, I, they might have alliances that cause me to go to war with everyone else. I still think we'll win because we're the frickin' Visyard Cooperative. But um, anyway, that's the plan for this episode. And let's not waste any more time. Before I do anything, though, I wanted to zoom in on... Uh, this is where it all started, actually. This is the Progenitor, the uh, home planet in the Allure system. And it is a machine world now. And as you can see... It is definitely a machine world. I had one of my regular commenters ask me, hey, does it actually look like machine worlds when you zoom in? And the answer, of course, is yes, both in the 3D model and the planet screen. So, cool stuff. So, I'm going to zoom out. And, um, yeah, let's take a quick look at the Mawir. Meanwhile, I'm going to speed up as well. All right, so they're the overlord of the Sildean Consolidated Planet States. Consolidated Planet States. But, uh... Otherwise, that's it. Uh, so they're not allied with anyone, which is quite nice. At the uh, When I loaded up the save, I did do a few quick pop moves. I made sure there was a live pop on top of this mineral silo and on top of this administrative array. I've, you guys know I very rarely do anything off camera, but I loaded up the save and happened to notice that, and it was just a quick little thing, and I did it. So there's that. Whirlwind missiles are done. I've got the game on speed three. Well, not right now, but uh, we'll have it on speed three soon. Tell you what. You know what, yeah, let's let's go for the uh, the minerals improvement. And do I have um, all of my research types synced up? Yes, I do, seems like. Very, very good. Our fleet is still insanely strong. I could probably crank out a number more ships and have just around 100 battleships in this thing. Hang on, what would it take? Really? The Galvanic Lancer is the one that there's the least of. Okay, we're fixing that. We're fixing that right now. Hold that thought. Let's go to speed three. Because I don't I don't want to leave that off speed three, but let's go ahead and do how many do we need? Thirteen. So four there. Come on, give me the fifth one. There we go. <laughs> that was the autosave, so it took a second to load that. All right, so the Gavetnik Lancers are being replaced. And then we can replace cruisers. I don't, I don't think I'm going to worry about that, though. I mean, maybe cruisers. Hang on. Looks like I'm down seven Iron Overseers. And then I need uh, ten more of something. Maybe maybe just 17 Iron Overseers. What are the Overseers? I don't remember. And what research did I just finish? Amoeba Flagella. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's give ourselves another core sector system because why the hell not? Again, final episode. We're just having some fun. So, what was I looking at? That's right, Ship Designer. What the heck is the Overseer? Oh, that's my Torpedo Cruiser. Yeah, I don't mind having another 13 of those. Or 17 of those, that'd be fine. That would be just fine by me. Let's have a look around the core worlds and see where we can build those. Alright, so that's nine. 
Got a couple of shipyards here that we can use. Crap. Right, well, in that case, we are going to do this here. So let's go ahead and go to Zathmac. We're going to do a solar panel network, engineering bay, battle simulator, cruiser assembly yard, synchronized defenses. Yeah, I, I don't even know why I'm building synchronized defenses, but we're going to do it anyway. And we're going to have, let's see, we'll do another five here, I guess. And what I can do is this. So that's, I, I just need four more. There are cruiser assembly yards on these stations as well. So they're going to build in Shukon following the battleships. And the cruisers will be replenished. We're going to let these ships regenerate. And then we're going to take the ward of the Mawir because we can't. We definitely want to get that territory from them so that we finally control a continuous amount of territory. And maybe even it, it would be. I doubt it. we could do this in one war. But if we could secure control of like half of the galaxy by the end of the episode. It's possible if we hit them fast and hard enough. I think we'll pretty much roll over them. If we can manage to get a good strong fleet victory against their initial counterattack, wherever it may be, I think that's all I will need to do, frankly. And that will be it. Also, let me take a quick look around here because some of these planets are new. Well, they're not new, but I recolonized them. Like his L. Observatory. Our construction is complete. Completely frivolous construction projects at this point. Of course, I don't need to build the observatories. Oh, also, have I closed my borders to them? Close borders. You can't come in here. Don't try and conduct your science in my territory, you jerks. I don't know that they're actually trying to do that, but I don't want them to do it, so they're not going to. So our main fleet is still in the Teterra system, which is one of the human colonies that we captured. Let's take a quick look at it. A new nest is born. Excellent. Yeah, we're slowly assimilating the population on this planet. Let's take a quick look at the species rights for the humans. So they are nomadic and adaptive. Seems that's it. We have some, we have Dara citizens. That just blows my mind. I wonder, yeah, I can totally build Dar. I think I, I saw that in a previous episode, but it's just so cool that I can do that. So we have um, recycled, they're cheaper. But yeah, I still would prefer to have Visión. Let's go ahead and do this. Build pop. Gonna have to do this on a few worlds, but that's okay. Alright, so the growing pop needs to go on top of the growth related building. I actually have not been good about ensuring that. Shame on me. Yeah, I can do a mineral silo here and put mines all around this joker. All right, so that's that. And I think there's a few more. Oh, hello. Hey there. Yeah, see, we got to rebuild all of our main colonies that got completely wiped out by our good friends in the contingency that are now no longer existent because we destroyed them and everyone that tried to fight them in the past. That makes me better than the Protheans. Or so I like to think. Definitely does not give me a Jamaican accent. Uh, let's... Mass Effect references galore. Okay, let's... Uh, I can't do a silo yet, that's right, because I haven't... Um, that was fast, cool. Still building the pot, but the building's done. I need the... Oh no, the silo is there because I already built it on this world. I thought I was looking at a different planet. Okay, so I think we're okay. Oh, that's right. I knew there was one more somewhere. 
And then his L prime. Yeah. Okay, so our new ships are on their way to Teterra. And then we'll pay our good friends the Mawir a visit. This should be interesting. Out of curiosity. Let's say we declare it on you right now. I want you to give up Koval, Skorom, and Hotram. do that. What about Koval, though? Oh, I hadn't added it yet. There we go. Yeah, just 20 war score to get that territory. So then we'll try and get Weir from them. Yeah, this will be good. This will be very straightforward. No real complaints. How much longer is it going to take those particular ships to build? It's the Shukan. Oh, wow. The Shukan plants are already done producing ships. I wasn't expecting that. They are already done building battleships, and you can see them all on their way. Straight to Teterra. We're 54 months away from a new Unity policy with 206,000 Unity. We're that far away. Holy crap. That is insane. We don't really need to turn any edicts off. I mean, I could turn off um, Map the Stars. I think we're good everywhere else. What was I going to look at? That's right, traditions. And we have two more perks. Incredibly expensive perks. As well. Also, I can probably... Eliathion, what you... What you doing? This is our partial Dyson Sphere. Oh, it's ready for another stage. Hang on. How did I miss that? That must have happened in the last episode. I completely forgot to just go ahead and tack on some more stuff. All right. So with that being done, I can use some of my massive, massive influence that I've regained. Because I'm not trying to kill any fallen empires, really. Done. And we will continue building the Dyson Sphere. I think there are two more stages. If I keep the game on speed three, maybe we'll get through it, but it's... For a one-episode affair, it's doubtful. As I start scrolling sideways while trying to push to mute. Okay. How are we doing? There's a lot of systems that are traveling that seem to be just kind of hanging out. Yeah. I'm going to have them orbit the sun and see if these ships that are all looks like trying to join the fleet. We'll see if these numbers change too. 90, 89, 96, and 225. Oh, what's going on? You're all trying to move. I can see you trying to merge, but you're clearly struggling. Oh, I meant to shift click. Control clicking instead. My fault. Just Windows selection habits. Habits to the best of us, as they say. Merge.
Okay, something's up. Something is up. Why won't they merge? It's doing this thing again. I don't see any indication that this fleet has an unusual ship class traveling with it. But you have to have, in order to merge, what is happening? Why won't they merge? Maybe they won't merge in this system? That doesn't make any sense, but I'll, I'll bring them back to a core system and see what happens. See if that changes our fortunes at all. Because we need our... I mean, if we're going to attack the Maw, I need all my ships to be in one fleet. Just, just pointing that out. Yeah, something is up. It might just be sheer size of the complement. No, something is up. What are you? Interesting. I don't know why the... That's really kind of annoying. I don't know why they're not merging. They should by all means be merging. So yeah, we're going to send them both to... Um... Where did I send them? Yulian? very similar looking planet to the one we're leaving. Orange star. Kind of similar to the Sol system, which I don't think is in this version of the galaxy. Even though the humans existed, I don't think the Sol system existed. I seem to recall the humans' homeworld was called what? called Cradle, right? Was that in the Samnivik system? I can't recall. I think it was. Alright, so my ships have arrived in Yulian. Let's see if they actually... Ah, that's what it is. It's fleet count. You can't have more than 500 ships. That is real dumb. So, what I'm going to have to do... Is take the Steel Defenders... Cut them in half... Technology conceived. Merge. There we go. Amazing what happens when you read the fine print. Hey, we're already done with the minerals research. Didn't see that coming. All right, let's go ahead and do antimatter missiles, which, again, we have that technology already. We already have level 5 missiles, so what's going on with that? I have no idea. None whatsoever, but it is what it is. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's just too big. That's a first for me. I haven't had the game shut me down as far as putting ships in a fleet. Not that it matters for much longer, because the Cherry update is going to change everything about Stellaris. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm not prepared to talk about it. Number one, I'm sleepy. Number two, I don't have notes. Number three, I don't have the notes in front of me. Uh, number four, it's huge. Start reading dev diaries right now. Go to Stellaris Wiki, just Google Stellaris Wiki, and start reading, because, wow, they're changing everything. All right, unemployment, what do we got? That's right, I got to start putting stuff on this planet. Okie doke, let's do a mining world. Except energy tiles on the ones surrounding the capital.
Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll wait till that's able to build the actual alien zoo. Okay, so I cannot combine these because they're, they're just too big. This is a bunch of Corvettes, though. So not the biggest loss to my fleet power. All right, Mawir. Your time has come. Let's see, where's the Mawir fleet? There is a fleet called the Blossoming Corolla. This, uh, there's a neutral Sodan Mandate fleet there, but there are several very small fleets. Aha! The 12th Corolla is their large fleet. Alright, guys. It is all night Donkey Kong. Let's go ahead and declare war. I don't want... I don't want to, um... Oh yeah, that's right. I still have this typed in. I was like, why is the list so short? That didn't make any sense. Uh, okay. So, Cobalt, Scorum, and Hotchum. If I can type. Oh, wait. Scorum. Alright, so there's a couple planets there. Glad I noticed. Bet you guys are too. And then we're... Yep. Sheet. Another planet called Fruitful Endeavor. Just like there's another planet called Bloom. There's like three or four different planets called Bloom. Alright. Caster and Enust. Spring rain. Seed it. And do we want to go for posh? Yeah, I'll try going for posh. New light. That sounds like a Gaia world. Not just a tropical world. Oh, did I just... Oh my god, I just completely... I hate that so much. Holy crap. If you close the window, it you, you lose everything you just did. They need to fix that in the latest version. Thankfully, I know what systems I need to type in, so... Should be fast. Alright, so... Yeah. No. Cobol, thank you. And then Weir. Another planet called Blooming. Might have mentioned that a second ago. I know I mentioned Fruitful Endeavor. Caster. Spring Rain. Confirm. Okay. The war begins. Let's jump into the Weir system. I'm going to keep the Corvettes close to the action, but not in the action. So why don't you stay back here at uh, Trajam? I'm going to be fairly indiscriminate here. I'm just going to jump into systems and start blowing stations up. Because these guys are not a fallen empire. Their fleet power is quite low compared to mine. They are ready for this. And by ready for this, I mean they are not ready for this. Their fleet power is inferior, their naval capacity is pathetic, and their technology level is equivalent to ours, but... Don't matter. Because, well, that's why. Because I have 100 battleships, and that's all that matters. Alright, so we got some new debris here. Alright, now one thing I can do is destroy the wormhole station real quick. So let's do that. And then we are going to have to kill that station, that station. Technology conceived. Really? What have we got? Any matter missiles? Ooh, I didn't... I thought I had quantum missiles already, but do I just have level level 4? 
What's happening? Hang on. Yay. Okay, that station's gonna die. Now I have level 5 missiles. Yeah, so it's just asking for techs that I technically already have because I managed to get the level 5 tech from various shipwrecks. Which is amazing to me. Let's go ahead and get explosive weapon damage buffs. Alright, so that thing's been wiped out. Let's now pay a visit here. Our war score is still a nice round zero, because we haven't conquered any worlds, but right now I'm just trying to destroy their infrastructure. Let's also go ahead and bring in Z troops. How's that? I don't know which science vessel you're talking about. Yeah, it's saying this... Are, are you leaving? Oh, that's why. There's transports in that system. Are those my transports? No, those are my transports. What are you talking about, game? So the mining station, and soon the... Yeah, let's go ahead and renew the Unity deal. Meant to do that earlier. The mining station, and soon the wormhole generator will be knocked offline. Now, as I recall... There are some pretty fun options for stations. I can't do anything on this world right now, obviously, because I don't control it. But there might be something I can do to speed things up when I conquer some of these worlds. All right, are you done in here? Mostly? Not quite. Got to destroy one more mining station and then one more wormhole station. I hope to get that Big Fleet's attention at some point soon. Is that it? Nope, those are Tianqi Space Wheels. That is not the Big Fleet. I think I can merge these now. Not quite. Never mind. Yeah, kill that wormhole station. Teach it who's boss. Just kidding, don't do that. That's overkill. You don't need to pull a, well, Commander Shepard. More Mass Effect. <laughs> Saw a clip from that game and I realized I haven't played it in a while. Kind of makes me sad. Used to play every couple of years. The whole trilogy. On Xbox 360. Okay. So we need to go back and support the guys trying to take Blooming. Let's do that. Because I do want this to be fast. So far we've taken out infrastructure, but we haven't actually conquered worlds. And that's what's going to get us war score. So I want to conquer this one, but then I'm going to jump back and take this stuff out. Hey, they've got a small world here. Or a small fleet here. The Blossoming Corolla. What is it blossoming into? That's what I would like to know. We have assimilated knowledge. Okay, we have an extra core sector system. Why don't we go ahead and do Edict Duration. We've been putting that one off for a while. It doesn't matter at this point. I'm just selecting random end game text. All right, I think we should be ready to land soon. Maybe. Come on, guys. War is taking longer than anticipated. Actually, this bombing is taking surprisingly long. 
Is blooming a large planet? I, I guess maybe that plays in. I know it will in the next update. They're adding combat width to planets. Similar to EU4, combat width. Determines how many units can attack at once. And it's predicated upon the size Technology of the planet. Conceived. Technology conceived, huh? What do we got? Yeah, I know my reaction time is slow today. Let's, uh... Planet sensor range plus... Don't need planet sensors. They're not even remotely necessary. Energy weapons. Plus 5%. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. Okay. Army's landing. There they go. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get through this war. It's taking too long. It's fine, though. As long as I get to mess with them while we are a little bit, I will be a happy camper. And so far, that is definitely what I'm doing. They haven't even tried to counterattack me yet, because they're like, uh, yeah, we're just going to stay, you know, back here. Where nothing will try to kill us. Okay, there's that. I'm going to go ahead and queue up every attack order I can. Man, they have military stations in all these systems. That's impressive. They really wanted to hold on to these. They're not going to. My fleet's going to shred the military stations like it has the last two to jump too. but... Okay, there's that. Our construction is complete. Construction complete. Oh yeah, Hazel. Very good. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Right, I'll be getting to that in a bit. All right, so our main fleet has arrived here in Hotram. Oh, guys. Oh, God. All right, so we just lost our transports because the transports jumped in right on top of an enemy cruiser or an enemy cruiser dropped on, dropped, jumped on top of the transports, one of the two. We'll get him back. Yeah, this one ship is not going to last long at all. We're at 10% war score. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to destroy that wormhole station. Let's go to speed three. It would be nice to end the war with at least getting that territory back before we end the series. And maybe defeating that fleet. Where are you jumping to? They're entering orbit of blooming. Is that where I am? No. It's another system. Tell you what. Let's go ahead. Screw the last project I had them working on in there, killing that wormhole station. We're going to jump straight to Weir right now, because I want to get that fleet. That's going to be our final battle. And then I will call it, because this war is taking too long. We're at the very end of the end game. I don't have anything else running on my computer. 4.2 gigahertz <laughs> processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 64-bit operating system. Everything's gravy, but the Clausewitz engine for Stellaris and the EU games is notoriously janky a little bit. Well, maybe not janky, but just skippy, stuttery in the final portions of games, just because there's so much going on.
It's a pretty powerful fleet, but we are over 100k stronger than it. And we are preparing to make our final jump. Looks like our transports have arrived in Iriamen, which is good. Alright, so that's a new perk. Alright, so they just retook Blooming, which I find thoroughly adorable. But now we have our fleet coming in. And this should give us a little bit of war score as well, because this is a, as you can see, a pretty big fleet of their, of their own. So, final battle of the series right here. Let's send cooperate or die off with a bang, gentlemen. Robot gentlemen. Perhaps robot ladies. Are those my missiles? Yes, they are. Excellent. I'd be curious to see how much damage they can even do to me. They've got a decent number of battleships. I give them that. But I have a lot more cruisers, destroyers, and corvettes than they do, especially when you count the other team of corvettes that's not even with me at the moment. Yeah, that was annoying. All we really need to do is start taking out those battleships, and I'll be a happy camper. Mm. I mean, our battleships are surviving. This is actually, I think, the first time we've fought the Mawir on a large scale for the entire series. Let's go up to speed three. All right, battleships are starting to lose shields. That's what I wanted to see. Fleet power dropping. We've only lost one battleship. They've lost a couple. Fleet power continuing to drop. You can see the balance of power swinging in our favor in the battle. Always good to see. We are losing some ships while we were putting up a fight. I'm guessing they're going to jump away from this battle. I don't care. I'll count it as my victory. It'll be fun. And we'll move on to bigger and better things. I don't know when the cherry update's coming out, but that'll be on the channel soon. I'm excited about that. It's going to be quite the change to Solaris. Again, check out those de development diaries that Wiz has been posting. You can check them out when he posts them weekly on Twitter, or you can just go to Solaris Wiki. And they've got a backlog of the most recent ones. Okay, so their fleet just jumped, and I saw several ships explode. Um, we didn't get much war score for that victory, which is dumb. But uh, i tell you what, let's at least... All right. Transport's on the way from a couple of different systems. Maybe we can arrange for them to give us that territory. Anyway, we had two different transport fleets, so I just sent them both. And Blooming's fortifications are completely gone, which is what I like to see. So this battle will be over pretty quickly. These guys will live. These guys will die. End of story. They landed a lot of troops. Credit where credit's due. They're still dying. They just lost their defending general. Ah, they had some robots, too. That doesn't help. All right, so let's take a quick look here. Negotiate. 
Oh no, they're nowhere near ready to give up any planets. They still believe that they have a fighting chance. But, uh... Let's see. Yeah, we've got several other ships in the area nearby. Looks like these guys are on the way to... Where's Bear's Fruit? Interesting planet name. And that's in Sasharim. And that's where their fleet is going. I'll tell you what. Let's go there too. And I'm going to merge these fleets now. I've lost a few ships. And hopefully we can get to those battleships and at least deal them a decisive blow in combat. Kill most of the rest of their fleet. Get our war score up a little bit higher. I still doubt we'll be able to sue for peace, but that's okay. Oh, I can pick a new unity policy. Let's see. Yeah. We don't have any tributaries at the moment. We might be able to set one up. <laughs> we could force the Mawr to be a tributary. I'm surprised at killing those large stations. We've killed several of them. They they don't affect the war score at all. They don't seem to. I'm not going to conquer these worlds. I just was hoping to encounter the fleet here. Oh no. <sighs> Why are you guys here? Yeah, it's the... It's the transport fleet in, in orbit of blooming. I completely forgot. Just left them there. They're dead. Yeah, they're getting annihilated. Sorry, guys. Well, crap. There, there goes our transports. We're gonna have to go back and kill them again. So they're they're going back to the same world they they attacked before, and we are where? Yeah, Sasharim, and we have killed everything we can here. So yeah, let's just go back. It's not gonna take long to get there. Three jumps. And we are stronger than they are. Even more so than last time. See, that didn't make their war score go... Or our war score go down, though, on account of losing those armies, so... Small victories back and forth. Not a quick war whatsoever. Not a quick war. We've got some human residents... Here on Hizel Secundus... Okay, I've got to build the basic colony ship before anything else can happen there. That's fine. All right. 166k versus 291k. Similar power differential to last time, slightly more skewed in my favor. I'm going to keep it on speed 3, and we'll see how this battle goes. Or sometimes I just like putting it on a speed one so I can actually see the ships making their individual motions more smoothly. Gets so jumpy on speed three. A lot of stutter. And there they go. All right. Well, on that note, I am not going to play cat and mouse with the mod. We're all episode. Um, just don't feel like it. I think we've had a really good series with Cooperate or Die. I think we defeated two fallen empires. Uh, we defeated the Contingency. Granted, that took some practice. Very frustrating turn of events there. Uh, but, uh, you know live and learn and now next time i run into them in in a stellaris series i won't have to do all of that and i won't have to skip entire days episodes multiple times on a kind of you know silly stuff like that so that's all well and good but uh, it's been a fun one if you have any final commentary to add yourself feel free to share um this is my first attempt at of course synthetic dawn gameplay but also just a robotic race and i definitely learned a lot about robot population that i haven't learned before in stellaris you know playing as organic empire so some stuff that I'll be incorporating from this series in future series on the channel for sure. And you can count on, by the way, 
more Stellaris content on the channel going forward, especially in 2018. Uh, not only is the Cherry Update coming out, but Stellaris content has been really good for the channel. My most popular video of all time is Roma Galactica 1. And I think, you know, a good narrative series timed with a big update to Stellaris is great for the channel. Or it, it brings in lots of viewers, and uh, both old and new, and um, seems to keep people's attention for a while. So you guys let me know feedback on that as well, what you'd like to see from the next series, and what you'd like to see to keep the Stellaris content hot and fresh, so to speak on the channel but that's it for cooperate or die thank you so much for watching the episode thank you for watching the series if you enjoyed this one as always don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along new episodes are coming out well new episodes of survival simulation and or science fiction content are going to be coming out every day at 6 p.m eastern time uh, for those of you wondering what's happening tomorrow if you're watching this live uh, we're going to switch back of course a little bit early because we only did 10 episodes here uh, 11 episodes actually uh, we're going to switch back to Against All Odds Season 4 and do another 20 in that, uh, which will be the final uh, run of the series as well, which is which is pretty exciting. So we're going to go all the way through uh, to episode 100 so that we can really explore the setup of, of the new patch that came out for the Lawn Dark because that, I was only able to do two episodes before I had to switch back to this series. So really exciting stuff for those of you who are also Long Dark fans. Um, or maybe who are just waiting for the series to come back and watching this to pass time. <laughs> I imagine that's not many people, but hey, um, there might be one or two. So again, thanks for watching. Comments always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.